Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dent X N95 respirator. These are made in Canada. The first thing that stood out to me was that the respirators come with ear loops. I've never seen any N95 respirator with ear loops, but these are also not approved by NIOSH or the CDC. The listing is also very misleading. It has the words N95 on the title, but it doesn't really say if they are N95s or not. And it doesn't have any information about NIOSH or them being certified. They do have a 3.5 out of 5 rating with 20 reviews on the reseller's website. So let's go ahead and take one out and see how they look. This is how they look. It doesn't have anything on the mask itself, so you wouldn't even necessarily know that these are that brand. It is a trifold ear loop design, so it's sort of like a KF94 style. The quality of these isn't that great. You can see that there is a lot of welding ducts, so it's not very high quality. The material is also very rough. And let's look at it from the inside. Yeah, not the softest material. So let's go ahead and try it on. They do have a slight plastic smell, but it's nothing too bad. The ear loops are actually pretty good. They are very soft on the face. Yes, yeah, so I don't feel like it's sitting properly on my face, but I said maybe it's just because of the size. So I do feel like the middle part of the mask is caving in and I can actually touch the mask with my lips, unlike other K94 or like the BNX Trifold. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration and breathability. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the band from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then, we make sure that the mask or respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The test results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 97.76% with a pressure drop of 10.4 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.09 and a pressure drop of 8.7 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 97.68% and had a pressure drop of 9.5 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI results, they actually had pretty good numbers for both filtration and breathability. Overall, the construction quality of these weren't the best. We have definitely tested better N95 respirators, but it was a pretty standard mask. Like I said, it was just very misleading with the whole N95. So I don't know if they are N95 because like I said, they're not certified by NIOSH. Personally, I didn't feel like they fit my face properly. And like I said, my mouth was touching the respirator. So I felt like it was caving in unlike other trifles that we've tested i really hope that you found this video helpful please let me know what mask we should test next or just any other content that you would like to see on our youtube channel in the comment section below we also have a lot of important information in the description box like our website which is acumet.com and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video